Hey guys, what is up? I am Devil Driven. It's Nilfgaard Day. <laughs> Let's, uh, we got some new Nilfgaard cards. Um, looks like they're synergizing around Knights and the uh, Grace tag. Uh, let's give them a look, see, see what we got. Uh, first up, I was hoping these weren't going to be locations when they tease this art, but they are locations. I was hoping for something maybe a little bit different to switch things up, but, uh, um, we're getting Beauclair, uh, famous Witcher location. Um, almost feel like it should be a scenario, but I guess it is a location, so. Um, but it's 13 provisions, hefty price, resilience, so it has the order tag to carry over if you want to. Um, deploy, set an allied unit's power to match the highest power enemy unit. Set an allied unit's power to match the highest power enemy unit. Okay, so you can pick anything you want. So the way the deck seems to be functioning around is like you're using stuff like Nilfgaardian Knights to buff up your opponent's stuff. And then you can use that to copy it and then reset it with uh, Beauclair. Um, once again, though, you're going to have to tech in stuff to play around Defender because Defender Friends... You'll boost that up to, you know, 30 points, and then they play Defender, and you're feeling really sad. Um, I think it's going to depend if these, like, Tucson Knights and maybe even Ramon is able to copy Knights, which I would hope he would, but you never know. Um, I would think some of these Knight tags are going to get some reworks. Maybe even Kahir. Maybe, maybe Kahir is just finally, like, we're over this constant boost stuff. Um, I guess, though, with this, it kind of works out with them because you're boosting. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, it, uh, it seems like it'll be all right. We'll check it out. Um, next one up, we're going to butcher the hell out of this one. It's uh, Golame de La Fal. Did I do okay? <laughs> um so he's six strength eight provisions um for once a nilf guard card where they uh don't have just a sour ass look on their face like this dude's like actually happy to be kicking this uh attorney shalimar's ass like this is i like i like this side of nilf guard the the happy face nilf guard uh let's see what his ability is human knight Deploy boost self and an enemy unit by half of their combined power. Order. Grace 14. So this thing has to get bumped up to a 14. Move all statuses to an enemy unit to self. So there's a way to possibly get this to have defender. You have to boost it up uh, eight, eight times to get this to pop off. Seems doable. I mean... If you can get uh, get some buffs on it, which shouldn't be a problem. Especially if you play it. I guess you play... Uh, well, yeah, you you play this, then you play the Beauclair, buff it up, 8, and then it gets hopefully Resilience or Veil or something of that effect. So, it's a way to steal a defender, I guess. And you're, yeah, you're moving it all away. So definitely a round two scary card if you can uh, get a defender tag on it. Um, or resilience even. Um, next one up, it's a tactics card. I love this art. Um, not sure about the name of it though. Boo Hurt, which looks like Butt Hurt a lot. but um, so it's a four provision. That's huge. Is it any better than some of the other four provisions is the question. Boost an enemy unit by three. So you're playing into your boost, uh, boosty boys here. You're also too going to play like Ivar in this deck, I believe. I mean, it's it seems like it's automatically a given. Uh, and then boost an allied unit by nine. So if you can get the reset on Beauclair, this is a nine for four. Plus there's other things that go in with it. I guess too, like, Kahir works with this, huh? Maybe they won't change Kahir. I mean, you're going to play it and enslave. Enslave friends are going to slobber over this because it's four provisions. Four provision 
tactics are huge. Uh, being able to put those little ones in and then adding your, uh, your what's his name. Uh, but yeah, this, uh, this one seems doable. I think if you're playing this deck, you put it in. I don't think you're going to play Enslave with this, though. It seems like maybe a one or one off, maybe two of. Depends on how many units you're slapping in there. But cool card. And then uh, the last one, Knight Challenger. Five for four. Human Knight. He's throwing the glove down, ready to scrap. He's got the curly mustache. Um, deploy. Gain Vitality. Equal to the amount of boosts an enemy unit has. Grace 8, so you only have to boost it up 3. Boost all units by 1. I mean, all units is pretty good. Um, so, say, say you have 4 units down and you get this boost on it. It's going to play for 9... Plus it gets the vitality of however many boosts there are. So this is going to eat up vampires. Because they have some vitality units, don't they? Um, oh, it's mostly... They just mostly put bleeds down, but... um, I mean, it's a cheap card. I don't see it being a big deal. I mean, to get three boosts on it. But is it going it, to... And it's five, too, so... I don't see it having a problem living, but I think I think you want to play the Nilf Guardian Knights over this. You want to get those boosts on the other side of the board. I don't think you really care about your side. Especially in the mirror. You start boosting your own stuff and they're happy because they're going to steal it. And that's usually how day one is, is there's a bunch of filthy Nilf Guard fools like myself. <laughs> but, um... It's, it's like a mix of control and solitary, I guess. So I'm not totally against it, but I was hoping for more tactics type stuff. I mean, we got a tactic card, but I don't know. I give it, I give it a C plus. Uh, it's probably going to be pretty good. You know, I could see a lot of uh, a lot of stuff going down with it, but um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know too if I got the grace thing squared away, because if I didn't, uh, let me know. I, I played a couple games with it, and uh, that's what I got out of it. So. <laughs> uh, but uh, you guys are wonderful. Thank you guys, everybody that watched yesterday, and uh, like I said, I'm going to cover the leaks for this week, and we'll try to get some stuff out day one. So thank you for everything. I'll see you guys next time.